Sometimes as content creators, we believe we're at the top of our profession, right? We think that if you place us in any scenario, we'd be great. Like if I can edit in Premiere Pro, oh, then I could be a TV, TV editor. Oh, if I can make music on YouTube, I could be a multi award winning musician. Sometimes we take ourselves too seriously just because we have a influx of subscribers or any subscribers at all. And I think we have to take a step back. We're going to look at this clip here from Bella Does Editing. And then we're also going to talk about what Cinnamon Toast Ken had to say about this as well. Let's talk about it. Let's get cracking. Recently, I started a job as a runner in a post house in London, and I've been getting so many comments saying, you're being exploited, you're a slave. And I just want to clear some things up. First of all, I'm not being exploited because I know exactly what I signed up to do. I knew that it was a hospitality job before I joined. I'm also getting paid, so I'm not doing this for free. I am aware that I do have skills, but I don't have the skills that you need to be a film and TV editor. I got to be realistic with myself. I'm 21. I graduated uni in 2022. The film and TV industry is nothing like the social media and corporate industry. With social media and corporate, the term editor is much more loose, at least in my opinion. You can go freelance much quicker and it doesn't really matter what software you use as long as it gets the job done. But the film and TV industry is very, very different. It's all connections based. You kind of have to earn your right to be an editor. You can't just be 21 fresh out of school and jump to editor. That's not how it works. I also can admit that whilst I'm very versed in Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro is not industry standard. It's avid media composer, which is something I'm still training on right now. Honestly, I'm really enjoying working as a runner. I love the people that I work with. I love that I get to chat to the editors and learn about their career and their experiences, giving me a better understanding of a post house. This job isn't for everyone. I totally get that. And if you're able to go straight into the industry, then honestly, I'm really happy for you. But I know if I wasn't doing this job right now, someone else would be in my place. Everyone's got to start somewhere. And for me, it's being a runner. As you can see, she talks about being a runner. Terry Crews, I'll put a picture of him up here. He talked about being a security guard before he got his shot on training day, right? Sometimes you just have to be around these people. And just because you believe you're a great actor or because you believe all this stuff of being an editor, you think you can just walk in and just be that thing. I think sometimes YouTube and Twitter and uh, Twitch and all this other stuff teaches us that, oh, because we have a fan base, oh, that we can be super successful. It doesn't matter. We have the skills. We're clearly more skilled than other people in the world. And that's just not true. There are people who have specific skills or there's people who have actual talent. And sometimes you have to realize you may not really actually have a talent. You may be great on camera, but that doesn't mean you go from that to getting placed in a movie as the top lead role because you had a few subscribers. Like if I was going to give construct constructive advice and criticism, uh, YouTubers like this that like have to monetize everything they do. Like if they want to learn how to do anything, they have to make a video about it or they have to like sell something or they, they feel like they have to do all this stuff. Like they're just like this working machine. That's just, Oh my God, I'm a superstar. Yeah. Don't take yourself so freaking seriously. We do take ourselves too seriously. It feels like anytime we do anything, I remember I put a bunch of stuff together, right? In my home gym that I have downstairs, I used to film myself putting that stuff together because I felt like I always had to be creating content. And then I would complain about, dang it, I can make better videos if I just had more time. And so I've started to, even myself, stop taking myself so seriously, quit thinking that people have to watch me do everything I do and everything has to be monetized or I'm wasting time. No, I've started to take time away from being in front of the camera all the time and sit down, make videos, actually come up with a concept and think to make great videos. Not everybody needs to see everything you do. <laughs> you're, you, you're a YouTuber. Chill out. Like you, you can't do all you can. You have so much time to do whatever you want because you literally like make, you sit down, you record a video, you probably have an editor, you hand it off to them. You got plenty of time to do whatever you want to do. You're just taking yourself way too seriously. Destiny also talked about this when he was talking with XQC and they were having a debate about how hard is it to be a streamer or how hard is it to make videos. Once building the factory is the hard part, getting the factory up and running and getting it effective is the hard part. But once the factory is up and running, all you have to do is input content and somebody will edit it for you. Somebody will have the sound ready for you. Everybody will still be somebody who can fix it all for you. Once you get the money and the funds and once you get the factory running, yes, it does become an easy job. So you have to take a step back and be like, OK, I'm not doing that much anymore. Yes, I am a content creator. Yes, I am making money, but it's not to the point where I have to be like, oh my God, it's, it's just so impossible for me to even breathe what, and do anything in life because I'm just so busy. I'm just so famous. I'm just so this. 
you're not. And that's, it's like a lot of, I, I call it like the, the LA YouTubers. I don't know where she, if she's in LA or not, but I feel like she probably is. Actually, let me look, let me just, let me look real quick. Oh yeah, this says, yeah, Gabby's in a house in Los Angeles. Okay. If, if that's where she still lives or not, but yeah, that's, that, 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 this is a pretty common thing. Like, cause I'm, we moved to LA, uh, me and Mary did. And I ran into this a lot when I met other creators and it was just like, like, bro, it's not that serious. I, I understand you want to take yourself very seriously, but it's, it's cringe level taking yourself serious. Like you, you are a YouTuber. You don't actually have that much talent. You just have a fan base that tells you that you do. And so you do this stuff thinking it's going to be that good. But when you compare it to actual professionals in the field, it's trash and you should stop taking yourself so seriously. Ooh. But it, anyway, that's, that's, that's a, that's a whole different soapbox. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a whole category in it. I, I know it may hurt to hear that your content may be trash compared to professionals. I think that something he did that was so great here is he says, don't take yourself so seriously. But why? Because you need to stay humble. You think just because you have a fan base, and you think because you have people who are saying you're good, that you think you're actually that talented. But when you take your content and compare it to people who have been doing it for 20 years, somebody who's does this professionally, it's a completely different world. Just like the young lady who is talking about being an editor, being an editor for a TV and film for a multi-million dollar or billion dollar company is going to be much different than being an editor for a YouTube channel. I just wish people would see more of that. It's hard not to get caught up because when you have YouTube fame, it's fame that you've never seen. You've never had. You've never had hundreds of people saying, man, I love your video. Man, you're a great creator. Even me, myself, when I get my one or two people who say anything, I don't really take it to heart because I know that I can do so much better with my content. And I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to actually sit down and learn. I'm actually setting aside time to make content instead of just doing it off a whim and not taking it seriously. I know that my content to be my content could be better, but I also know that at the end of the day, as much as I want to say I'm talented when it comes to speaking, I'm just not. When I watch people on TV that I look up to, even though some people don't like them, I get it, but I, I look at the worth ethic. When it comes to Stephen A, Terry Crews, even Skip Bayless, Keyshawn Johnson, Shannon Sharp, uh, JJ Reddick. When I watch all these kind of guys do these content and I watch how they show up every single day, five days a week to show up on TV. And sometimes they talk about stuff that you really don't care about, but you have to keep the train rolling. I respect that. These guys are working 12, 13, 14, 15 hour days because they may be here in the morning and they got to do NBA countdown at night. They have to do all of this. And I, I have such a respect for that. So when I look at my own life, it's like, wow, I think that my life is hard because I have to sit down and make one video and edit it for a few hours sometimes and then come up with a thumbnail, come up with a title. And I think that I can now compare myself to Stephen A. Smith. The hell I can. He's been doing this for much longer and he's had to do much more work than I could ever dream of doing. Right. And I think when people think about, oh, being successful, the being taken seriously, they think it comes with less work. You want to be taken seriously like this? You people who are so against nine to fives, you want to have the most flexible schedule on the planet and still be taken seriously? No, because if you work for a movie set, guess what? You're going to have to be there at a certain time. You want to be on TV? Guess what? TV, it starts at this specific time. The show starts at this time. You need to be here five hours before then. Oh, wait, you need to actually keep yourself in shape because guess what? You're on TV. You want to be a designer? Well, guess what? You're going to have to get up for business meetings. You're going to have to be on time. You're going to have to be good at setting up emails. You're going to have to put your face on Zoom. You need to be presentable at all times. Some of us can't do that. We don't know what it's like to be on a set schedule because we've been so enthralled in YouTube. We think about having a flexible schedule is the same thing as being a successful person on whatever mainstream thing is. It's not. It is. You have to be structured. Even myself, I try to now be structured. I try to work when I'm on YouTube. I try to work from nine to five or nine to seven or eight, nine, however long it takes me. I actually do give myself a lunch break. I take a small break and I get back to work because I want to do something past YouTube. I don't take YouTube as the end all be all. Like if I'm a YouTuber the rest of my life, I will have succeeded. Not in my eyes. I do want to be a TV personality. I do want to maybe be in some movies. I do want to be a director in some things. But 
But if I don't learn how to structure myself and be be professional, it'll never happen for me because I'll be so used to getting up at 1130 instead of 530 and getting to the gym and making sure I'm keeping my body good, making sure I'm staying healthy. All this stuff matters. That's what to me it means taking it seriously. It does not mean you got a fan base and that's it. So now you should be just famous everywhere. It's not that serious. So if you really want to get into that life, Do you have to live the same life as those people? Yes, you're going to have to fall in line sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes you're going to have to go with policies and guidelines just like we do here in YouTube. Let me know what you guys think. Goodbye.